And welcome everybody to the Living Life Podcast with your host Rick and the beautiful and talented, amazing, wonderful woman in the world, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry is very tired. It's already 1030 here in the, the good old uh, LA. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So how was your day today? That was cool? That was cool. Yeah, mine too. Mm. Mine too. It was cool. Uh, we went out uh, with a couple, with two friends for dinner. Uh, we we decided on Korean barbecue. And man, I think I ate too much. I think that's why I'm so, I, like, extra sleepy. Yeah, as soon as I got home, I had to release, if you know what I mean. Like, <gasps> release. it went right through me. And then when I was... Well, I don't know if you guys ever eaten Korean barbecue, but when you eat Korean barbecue, the smell lingers on your body, like on your clothes, your hair. So I was sitting there and you walk in and you're like, dude, it smells like Korean barbecue in here. <laughs> that was disgusting. <laughs> I know. And then, so yeah, I, you know, I left the restroom or whatever. I came to the living room, I was setting up for the podcast. So... I think I needed tissue or something. So I went back to the restroom and I smelled the Korean barbecue. I smelled it in the air. I was just like, no, it's like ruining it for me. (laughs) So, yeah, welcome, everybody, to the best podcast ever in the Internet. And also we're featuring live in iTunes, Spotify and Stitcher. So you can find this all there. So let's get started. Uh Let's get started with, I guess, the most basic one, the My Chemical Romance. Now, I don't know what's going on with My Chemical Romance. I've, you know, they made some good songs, but I can't, I can't More say. More like good album. Well, songs for me. It's like, you know, I don't know. My Chemical Romance to me is like, eh. But apparently, uh, My Chemical Romance sold out the entire North American tour in under six hours. I believe that. 228,600 tickets. That's crazy. So let's just, let's just average it out, okay? 228,000 tickets. 228. Let's just say 228. Let's just say every concert, the average ticket price is, for everybody, the average ticket price is like 300 bucks. Because the average is out, you know, from the VIPs to like the lower. So let's just say they're 300 bucks. 228 times 300. That's 60, that can't be right, 68 million? 68 million dollars? Do you think they earned that much? I don't think they earned that much, but I think... Uh, well, if you think about it, they have to split it five ways. They have to split it with the venue. They have to split it uh, with the... And then amongst themselves. The, their agents, the, the record labels, amongst themselves. So that's a lot of money. 68 mil. Well, that's I just mean, the average for $300 a, a ticket. Well, I mean, it's like... It's a special tour too it's not Why? like they they're not gonna have any more or what well it's they i i, I don't know <laughs> i don't want to say anything because you know mcr i mean mcr they oh dang they do go by mcr <laughs> hello i don't know I fan just... over here um no it's it's that they how could I say it? They. What are they best known for? Well, Without like playing the music, because or else we're gonna get a, a what you call it? Um, we're gonna what do you get. Mean? They're gonna like the songs that they're known for. Yeah. Well, I mean the Black Parade, and uh, you know, like Helena, Ghost of You, like you know, this is like all like high school. High school. <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, like it was. You know, all this, all these songs, a lot of these albums, like, were around when I was, you know, a Mm. teenager. So, to me, it's more, like, nostalgia, you know? I do like Black Parade. But, like, the other songs? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. The 
I mean, I like I like a lot of their music. <laughs> That's hard. You're like to I say. just like the whole albums. <laughs> I, I like I like the whole albums, but I mean, I'm really happy that they're doing shows. Because they even, they even added more. They they had some like they had added, had one on the eighth, and since they sold out right away, they added two more, and those sold out. I know. That's crazy. I know. But I think it's really awesome that they're doing shows, and I wish that I can attend, but unfortunately, they've sold out. Oh, they're going to play with Jimmy World at in New Zealand. Oh. See? Mm-hmm. With Jimmy World. That's cool. But yeah, that's crazy. MCR, as you call them, <laughs> mm-hmm. sold out all their tickets. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. I guess people are That's really what it excited. Is. It's a reunion tour. Because they had they split don't, up. They don't. Yeah, they split up, and then they didn't. They haven't gone on tour for like a really, really long time. Like so, when you were in high school, they haven't gone on tour. Maybe. So this uh, is like a really big deal. That's crazy. I know. My chemical woman's. I know. All right. So on to the next story. I was telling Jerry. I saw this on uh, our local news. Now, apparently, parking spots in San Francisco are a hot commodity. I don't know why. I mean, I can see why, because a lot of the cities prevent you from parking anywhere. It's like we're not even free, you know? Like, if you were truly free, free, if you were truly free, land of the free, you'd be able to park your car wherever you wanted. For however long you Legally, yeah, however long you wanted. But no. This country is not free. Everything costs money. Even here, to park here where you live at night, you have to pay at night, a mm-hmm. night fee. Mm-hmm. It's like, come on. I live here. Why do I have to pay more money out of my pocket just to be able to park my vehicle in the street? Because my house doesn't have any parking spots. How is that my fault? Yeah. So, um, apparently in San Francisco, this apartment building's parking spot somebody listed the parking spot to use it for the year and it cost one hundred thousand dollars for a parking spot and it's this exact one number 140 in san francisco so wait so wait let me get this straight so somebody is renting out a parking spot like somebody would rent a house out for an airbnb yes are you kidding me no I don't know if they're selling the spot. I don't think they can sell the spot. I mean, I'm. You would have to sell the land. With so it I don't too, get right? it. There's no. There's no street parking in San Francisco. That- there's there's street parking, but you have to pay. You have to pay every everything. You have to pay. And what the real estate agent for the parking spot was saying is that it's a good spot because it's a block away from the ballpark. The you know the baseball ballpark. And a block away from some other. So it's worth a hundred thousand dollars. That's what he's saying. It's worth it. It is not worth it. See, it says the average parking price is fifteen dollars in the area. According to Williams, they got a verbal offer for ninety thousand, but his clients didn't take it. So they uh, they were offered ninety grand for the parking spot, and they still didn't take it. So it's all driven by supply and demand. We're surrounded by blocks of multi-million dollar properties, and they came with one parking space, said Williams. Neighbors in the Townsend building are shocked. It's ridiculous, said Peggy Chu. Now, like, you know, if you, like I said, if you truly live in a free country, you wouldn't have registration fees every year. You'd register the car once. Yeah, you can pay them once, and that's it. Why do I have to keep registering the same car to the state every year? Yeah. The only time I should be able to pay registration fees is when I'm selling the car. If you buy the car from me, and you buy the car from me, then you pay the DMV registration. Not every year. Why do I have to register the car every year? I get they're trying to make money, but no. Sorry. It's crazy. It is crazy. And then they keep raising the rates every year. They offer a sticker. Yeah. 
and then they keep they they, they want you to get to insurance of course you know insurance is good but they it's mandatory you get insurance and if you don't get insurance then they charge you because you don't have insurance yeah they'll send you a, like a little letter saying and then if you still don't have insurance then guess what then they they're s- gonna come look for your car to take <laughs> it away from you it's crazy. Jeez. It's like, it's you like can... sorry. It's like I just gave you all my money mm-hmm. to get my registration. Now I can't even pay for my insurance. So now you're going to take my car away from me because I can't afford anything. Jeez. It's crazy. And then and then the whole parking thing, you, you go inside a building, you're there for, what, 10 minutes? And you come out and there's a freaking ticket on your car? Yes. That is the most annoying part. Mm-hmm. And especially, too, like, if you're not from or familiar with the area mm-hmm. and you See, go and think that parking is free. Mm-hmm. Just like here in Pasadena. If you were to come here, let's just say you came to my house. Mm-hmm. You you stayed for the night. And you're like, yeah, you know, I'm going to spend the night. I got I got too drunk. Yeah, you know. Okay, you're going to spend the night. Well, guess what? You have to go get a parking permit for the night. Mm-hmm. You can either buy it on the on the on your phone. You pay three dollars a night, or you go to the little kiosk and pay three dollars over there. But see, the thing is, when you pay online, they charge you an extra dollar because it's convenience to get the parking permit on your phone. So then they charge you four dollars if you pay on your phone, but if you go to the kiosk, <laughs> they charge you three. What the heck? Ugh. And I mean, you know what? Like San Francisco is so expensive. Oh yeah. Like super. Remember that time that we were gonna plan a trip out there that we oh, wanted to go? Right. Like to the we're supposed to go dun- yeah. uh, get some dungeon and crab. Yeah, we're, we're supposed to go crabbing. <laughs> well, to stay and like. The like lowest, grimiest like motel up was over there was at least how much was it like like four hundred dollars? Yeah, four hundred dollars a four night. Four to five hundred dollars a night for the cheapest, and the hotels had bed bugs. Yeah, bed bugs. After reading reviews, like to- like torn wallpaper, <laughs> like. Not even like you know, like an actual hotel. Exactly, not an actual like hotel, a, like a Hilton. Like yeah, like a Hilton or a Sheraton or a Holiday Inn. Was Nothing. over eight hundred dollars a night. Mm-hmm. That was insane. I was just like, you know what? Those Dungeness crabs can stay in San Francisco because yeah, they're not too, worth. Yeah, especially too because like the whole like the hotel or the motel was like a little mom and pop. Like yeah. even some of them were like houses that they rented out the rooms. Mm-hmm. But yet they wanted six hundred dollars a night. Yeah, and it's like, I think that's what San Francisco's turned into. Like, you, it's all a bunch of Airbnbs, and people own the property, but they own it to pay for the taxes every year, which are sky, which high. are sky high. Because yeah. the lowest price house in San Francisco is a million dollars, or a court, uh, one in a, one one million five hundred thousand, so one and a half million dollars. So imagine the taxes you have to pay for that every year. You have to pay taxes for that house every year, one million dollars. That's like over. I don't know how much do they charge you for property tax. I don't know. I don't own property. <laughs> I don't own property. I don't, own property. <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out. As uh, my phone won't even unlock. Whatever. Let me see. Let me try. <laughs> but yeah, mm-hmm. just imagine a million dollars. Let's just say they charge you ten percent. What am I looking at? Property taxes. How much are property taxes in California? So a million dollar house, they charge you 10%. That's $100,000 a year in just taxes. Yeah. That's that crazy. is crazy. See, my oh. parents bought their house for 100000 when it was a good time to buy Wait it. a minute. Your parents bought a house. For a hundred thousand dollars, two houses. Okay, two houses for a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> You're well, this paying is boomers. For, wait, we're talking boomers wait, here. Wait, I know, but wait. <laughs> now, in this day and age, this person is selling a parking spot, a level, a level grounded <laughs> concrete cement floor for a hundred thousand dollars. 
a that square prone, this big that is prone to earthquakes and natural disasters yeah and rain like crazy for 100k you can buy a house in chicago uh, you know what and you know illinois for a hundred thousand dollars six bedroom house why would you pay you know what's sad too is that people are actually calling the real estate agent yeah, for they're it. actually interested in getting the parking spot that's ridiculous. That's crazy. So, I have a feeling market's going to crash soon. This There's no way people can afford it, especially with the wages. Yeah. $15 an hour here in Los Angeles or what? The people can't afford the houses or anything around here. Yeah. So, market crash is coming. Be ready for that. Oil crash is coming. Be ready for that. The oil's going to crash because people are driving more electric cars and everybody's going electric. What's what's good to buy right now would be lithium because that's what they're making the batteries from for all the electric cars. Mm. So if you own the lithium, you own the world right now. That's why Mexico, Mexico, China is buying all the companies in Mexico that are producing lithium. So China is going back down there and buying all the damn lithium, mining it all. Wow. It's crazy. All right. Anyways, on to the next story. If you want to buy a $100,000 parking spot, go to myabc7.com and they can provide you with the listing there. <laughs> all right. Next one. Uh, oh, yeah. This is the Korean spot that we went to. And what I was one, what I was gonna say is that th- the food is really good, and it's cheap. It's twenty two, what twenty two ninety nine? Yeah, per for person dinner. for dinner, for weekend dinner, and it's really good. It almost looks just like this, except they don't bring you all the food like this all at once. Yeah, they bring you like tray at a time, like two trays at a time. Yeah, and then they only bring you like little pieces at a time. Well, I mean <laughs> in. In their defense, I mean, it's actually better for you because they charge you for what you don't eat. So why would That's they true. go and give you all this food for you to be like, oh, I'm full. Yeah, no, I'm not going to eat all yeah, of it. I just full. want one one plate. That's or true. I can only eat half of this. That's true. So they, you know, serve but yeah, little portions. And I wish the grills were a little bit bigger. Because just like how it's pictured here, the grills are that big. So you can only cook a certain amount of meat at a time. Without it being stacked on each yeah. other and all. Yeah. All goopy. So it, it kind of, um, you know, you wait for all the food. So you spend like two and a half hours in there. <laughs> you're getting hungry between yeah. each serving yeah. of meat. Because <laughs> you get like a little scrap of meat because you're sharing with, you know, all your friends. And then you're still like, oh, damn, I'm still hungry. I still want more. So you keep ordering more and more. And then when they bring you more meat, they only bring you half of the original portion. Yeah. So just say, come on, man, I need more. <laughs> I'm hungry. Just like that, I asked the guy, I was like, hey, can I get a double order of the bulgogi? Because, I, I mean, I love beef bulgogi. And he's just like, yeah, I can only bring you one of one each time. I was just like, no, just bring me double bulgogi. I don't understand that, though. Yeah, he's, I'm going to eat it. So why are you not going to bring it? It's the same if I order it within five minutes of you well, bringing me the other no, one. No, not only that, too, but, like, let's say you get, like, the the other what is it the other the skirt steak yeah the shutdown okay. yeah so let's say you get that and then you get a beef bulgogi it's the same thing why can't you get two beef bulgogis yeah Do you it's the mean? same schnickels I think he was being difficult yeah oh and then to top it off we got our check <laughs> right so they bring our check we're already done we're already like up to here with meat in our throats you know just like all the way up here <laughs> they bring the check and the check is like for seven dollars yeah so it's just like what seven bucks and i was even thinking of just like just dropping the the 10 in there and just being like well that's it that's all we gotta pay but you know i, I was honest and just let them know you did hey. the right thing. yeah i was like hey uh are we eating for free or what and she's saying huh so yeah, so I would have I would have paid seven bucks just for for all the dinner. That's cool. 
She was like, oh, my bad. Oh. So I ended up bringing another check. And then the total was really like $90 for all of us, though. Yeah. Yeah, for all of us. So splitting it up, it was like 40 something, which is not bad for all you can eat. Meat. You know what I mean? Only. Yep. Oh, All right. that soup too. Soup. Oh yeah. Oh man, that soup was good. The tofu, spicy tofu soup. Yeah. With the uh, with the shrimp. Yeah. It was really good. Man. Mm. Can't wait till the next one. See you next month, Korean. Cause See I, you in the next three months. Because <laughs> I can't eat you every yeah. every week or every day because I probably get a heart attack. I was gonna talk about this guy, but. I kind of don't believe it. This guy says he ate only food he grew or foraged for a year. Kind of find it impossible. Because it takes a long time to grow food. Like a long time. I garden outside my house. And it takes months, weeks to get like a tomato growing out of your plants. And I'm a really good green thumb. Have really good green thumbs. So, remember those zucchinis that we planted a long time yeah. ago? We used to plant zucchinis, and the zucchinis were, not not kidding, like this this long and this fat around. Gigantic zucchinis. I think, though, I think it, it depends on where you live, first of all. Mm -hmm. I believe that it depends on what is going into your soil. Yeah. So, like, what if he has a restricted area, do you know what I mean, where yeah. animals can't get in and pee in the dirt? And <laughs> I doubt it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Cats. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what's stunting our, our tomato growth is that. The cat pee? A cat pee, and, you know, they probably do other stuff in well, there. Well, I don't we don't have only cats, but we have freaking raccoons. We have... Uh, freaking skunks outside we have peacocks coming in yeah. every other day yeah it's like a wild forest in by in our backyard <laughs> in our front up front of our house yeah. so yeah i don't believe it plus it's buzzfeed it's fake news <laughs> <laughs> all right next uh we're just gonna go into the memes and we're gonna be ending the podcast because uh, we're kind of tired I it's already am, almost 11 i am exhausted so we're going we're going short today, and just to guys let you guys know Jerry's mom is still in the hospital, yeah, and still hasn't recovered. So yeah. please wish, uh, Jerry's mom a speedy recovery. Hopefully everything gets better. And so yeah, this is the meme I found. Uh, this made me laugh even more because your niece loves Billie Eilish right now, and she's only what. Six. Six. <laughs> so yesterday I was like, "You like Billie Eilish? Oh, she's okay." And she's like, "What? No, she's you, not. No, she's not. She's really good." <laughs> I was like, "Dang, getting all Billie defense." She is the best. <laughs> she's the best singer. Uh, I was like, "Uh, okay." <laughs> but yeah, she's such a little cutie with uh with the music. She loves her music. So we saw this. Not Billie Eilish. Billy Eilish, <laughs> but my niece, my niece is a kid. yeah, 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 your niece, of course. She's so, all into the songs and. So TV. here's a meme of Billy Eilish or Eilish. It says, "Stop sending me this." This is fake, of course. It's not the real Billy Eilish, but it's no, not. No, it's not her real post. But oh. she looks like the, 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 the. the uh, what do you call it? I thought that they sent it to her and she retweeted no, it. No, it's fake. Oh. It's fake. Somebody made this. Oh. Who made this? Chungus Among Us. We'll give him props. <laughs> but it's just, stop sending me this. And it's the guy from Spongebob. <laughs> With the mustache. Remember his mustache? It's like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm a goofy goober. Yeah. <laughs> that movie was awesome. It's awesome. And then here's another one. Uh, <laughs> too much rusties. <laughs> another actor falls into the drug abuse. <laughs> Years of abuse. <laughs> Years of abuse. <laughs> Scante warrior. <laughs> Look at he has broken windows. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so this was made by Tama Tu Momo. 
<laughs> Tama to Momo. And uh, it was posted by Chocolate Potato. <laughs> so that's, that made me laugh. That was a good one. This one was posted six hours ago. It's pretty, so it's pretty new. Pretty fresh. Pretty fresh. I am Speed Kerchow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm speed. <laughs> hey kids, wanna buy some speed? <laughs> oh god. What is the what else? Lightning McMath. <laughs> Lightning McMath. That's terrible. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm on speed, Kerchow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Love the comments, man. Loving the comments. Can I upvote the comment? Yeah, right? Yeah, you can. Can you? <laughs> I like Lightning McMath. <laughs> and I'm, I'm on speed, Kerchow. Uh-huh. Lightning McWeed. <laughs> hey, weed is not... Uh, a bad drug, okay? <laughs> Just kidding. We'll give it up. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right. And then the next one that I found says, uh, when someone tells me it's easy peasy lemon squeezy, but for me, it's always stressy, depressy, lemon zesty. <laughs> low, key, low key, that's how I feel I look right now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, this I like one. That. I like that. Try to keep my eyes open. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, but where did been... where the original post go? Ah, that sucks. I can't see the actual maker of this one. This one's really good. All right, guys. So that's gonna be it for us. It's gonna be it. We talked about. Who do we talk about today? MCR. Oh yeah, MCR. The world's most expensive parking space. Oh, that's right. Most expensive parking space. Uh Korean barbecue. The guy that lied and said that he ate all his food that he grew. Oh yeah, the guy who lies about his food that takes forever to grow, so you can't really eat everything that he makes. Yeah. Because it's not feasible. Yeah. And uh memes. Yeah. Memes about Billy Eilish, Eilish, Lightning McCrack, and, uh, and baby Sleepy Yoda. And Sleepy Yoda. Look at so that sleepy cute. face. So cute. So cute. I love him. Yeah. Hey, why is this up? Oh, so yeah. Thank you guys again for watching. Right, Jerry? I, I'm Sleepy Yoda. <laughs> Sleepy Yoda. <laughs> yeah, Sleepy Yoda. So yeah, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, podcast coming out. New one will come out what Wednesday. Yeah, we'll shoot for Wednesday if not sooner, because we forgot to do one this last Wednesday. Well, we've been busy. Yeah, we've been busy with the whole working extra hours and then your mom and so. And we want to thank all the new subscribers, by the way. We got a whole bunch of them. Uh, we've been getting a steady uh, at least one a day, two a day. Really? Which is awesome. People are watching. They're still continuing to watch the chicken noodle soup video that I made in the in the Instapot or the Crock-Pot, sorry, pot. And that's amazing. It's awesome. Hope you guys continue to support us. And uh, hit that like button if you guys like the podcast. And subscribe on iTunes, Podcast, and Spotify, and Stitcher. Find us there. Find us there. Ooh, look at my face. Beautiful. Look at Jerry's face. Beautiful. I'm so sleepy. You're so sleepy. It's all that meat. You got, you got a big, big meat in you. <laughs> <laughs> I already Woo. released it. You're, oh. <laughs> That's disgusting. Disgusting. So, uh, again, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. And I left the screen up. Peace. Oh, man.
man. We love you guys. See you on the next one. Bye.